What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure y'all like this video and share it. I'm going to talk about Brittany Renner. She has responded to everything that is going on in a video where she is doubling down and basically saying that, you know, she has to stand her ground and she has to, you know, shine her light bright to make the roaches scatter. Even though this is a mess that she created by having a relationship with somebody who was not ready to be a father, who was seven years younger than her, who somebody that she had been dating since he was in college. And you have a baby by this guy when there are plenty of guys who are a little bit more mature and older uh, that you could have gotten a baby with. But you had it with him because you thought that he was your ticket out of having to basically being just an IG thought. And we're going to get into the video first. Before I get into this article here, this is the video here. I want y'all to see it for yourself because this is unbelievable. She's getting clowned for this all over Instagram. As a matter of fact, this video was via the Hollywood Unlock and they are clowning her. She has no support in this comment section whatsoever. I'll put a link to this. Y'all go and check it out. She really thought she was saying something. Both men and women were basically making fun of her and how bad she's making herself look even more. Listen, we all know that Brittany Renner doesn't care about being an insta, th she, insta thought. She doesn't care about sleeping with multiple men throughout the industry and in different sports. She just cares about promoting herself, right? Gotta remember, she went to a small college you know she's basically uh from basic small town small area and when you have that mindset because i believe she went to college in mississippi right when you have that type of mindset you know you go from that right to just being a regular girl to all of a sudden being an instagram model who's getting attention because of how your body looks and you utilize that to basically be a groupie, people are going to have certain opinions of you. I know she doesn't like it, but that's just how it is. And it's made even worse when you write a book about it. But let's get into this video clip. This is something you have to see to believe. Here we go. I don't know who needs to hear this, but stand your ground. It's sacred. So when you stand your ground, you stand in your truth. When you stand in your truth, you stand in your power. And when you stand in your power, <laughs> I'm to a place where I've just accepted that my light is so bright that it causes all of the roaches to scatter in places they thought they could hide. It's just me being me. It just causes such an uproar. Like loving yourself is such a rebellious act these days, you know? <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, I am so not sorry. I don't know. Well, that's why a lot of people are not sorry for holding you accountable for the fact that you had a child by a 22 year old and you're basically about 30. And they're not sorry for calling you an IG thought, a slur. Um, no one's sorry about that. The fact that you have to make this video and you want to call people roaches, you're trying to make yourself seem like you're basking in all this uh, criticism. And you enjoy being the villain. No, you enjoy the attention. And let me tell you something right now. You're always going to be who you are. It doesn't matter who you sleep with. It doesn't matter how many books you write. No matter. It doesn't matter who's who's next on your to-do list. It isn't going to change who you are. It really isn't. And that's the problem with a lot of women like this. I'm telling you, when you have females who went from being a regular girl one day to being an infamous Instagram model, the next, they don't know how to deal with that. I mean, her first instinct a few years back was to write a book about her being conquered by all these different guys in the industry. That was her first instinct. Instead of her saying, you know, I'm going to be doing Instagram modelings, you know, to create avenues in media for myself that didn't require me to have to just go run to OnlyFans or to be trying to get a baby by one of these guys. She took the other routes of attention slurring. Okay. 
This is attention slurring 101. You're trying to pretend like you enjoy being a villain, but you don't. You don't enjoy being a villain whatsoever. And to say that your light is shining bright and the cockroaches are scattering, the only cockroach in this situation is the people who still support you. Those are the people who, to me, have no ground to stand on whatsoever because you intentionally sought out this guy while he was at Kentucky to date him. Yes, you did. I'm not going to use the term grooming. I'm not using that, but let's call it what it is. She's not a dumb female. She was very calculating. She was tired of getting ran through by, you know, men her age. She said she wanted to get with one of these youngins. So she decided to get with PJ Washington while he was at Kentucky. Let's just be real. That's why she was at the games. Let's watch this video again. But stand your ground. It's sacred. So when you stand your ground, you stand in your truth. When you stand in your truth, you stand in your power. And when you stand in your power, <laughs> I'm to a place where I've just accepted that my light is so bright that it causes all of the roaches to scatter in places they thought they could hide. It's just me being me. It just causes such an uproar. Like loving yourself is such a rebellious act these days, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here to tell you I am so not sorry yeah you're not because you got what you wanted right you got a baby by an NBA player she never wanted a child by a regular guy she's you can tell this is a female who had never been nowhere never you know never went far until she got noticed for how she looked and that's when her life changed this was somebody who's probably was never deemed attractive growing up. And now because she's get he gets all this attention on social media, she has this over she's she's overdoing it with the self-confidence. You don't have any self-confidence. When you start having children by 22-year-old basketball players who's barely been able to see life like that, that's a, that's a sign of a woman who is trying to have a purpose in life. Your purpose, what, to raise the child of an NBA player? That's what it looks like. Let's get to this article. Because all summer long, Brittany Renner has been deride over her uh, divorce from PJ Washington. Nearly a decade older than the Charlotte Hornets forward, Renner is being accused of grooming him. However, both were adults. When Washington and Renner began dating earlier this year, PJ Washington and Brittany Renner announced they were expecting their first child. When this announcement came, social media expressed concern by the summer. Renner's divorce petition hit uh, the internet with people calling Washington a sucker. Brittany Renner filed for divorce from PJ Washington after having his baby. There were rumors of him having to pay two hundred thousand a month. After which, Renner's athletes are dumb comments resurfaced. Though Washington said the two hundred thousand rumors were false. Now Renner has come with a video advising people to stand their ground and said that she's so not sorry about what she's done. She's not talking to people. She's talking to women like her. Because you got to understand that Brittany Renner is cool with a lot of these Instagram models who want to do the same thing. And she's basically telling them, listen, continue to try to get a, a trap a rapper or trap an NBA player. You know, don't let the criticism get you. But why should women follow this advice? That's the problem. We have enough single mothers. Now she's a single mother. We have enough single mothers out here, man. We don't need no more. We don't need no more. Now I want to get to something real quick. There was uh, an exchange between Tiger and Brittany Renner over a TikTok video showing her dating history. Let's get into this. This is according to Complex. Brittany Renner name has buzzed around among celebrity dating circles as of late following rumors centered around her parenting relationship with PJ Washington. Such hearsay sparked a TikTok video running down her alleged dating history from athletes like James Harden and Colin Kaepernick to rap figures like Tiger. But after the latter dropped in to clear up that he didn't know Renner, it appears she isn't too bothered by the commentary after all. While sharing the TikTok video on Instagram and clapping back at those mocking her past, Ren expressed that she had no regrets. 
is this the same past y'all want me to be ashamed of because I'm so not sorry she wrote when sharing the clip. All right. In response, Tiger showed up in the shade room comments to clarify that he never met her, which Renner happily confirmed. Not sure why they threw you in there, but still funny. She shared, I'm sure I wasn't missing out on anything. You see, she took that extra dig at Tiger. All she had to say was she did not know Tiger, but of course she got to get that extra dig in there because these females like this feel like they have some sort of, uh, I'm going to say power, but they feel like they have a certain level of notoriety in society that they're somehow celebrities. No, you just get smashed by celebrities. That's it. You know, no one's out here trying to make it seem like they would care if you hooked up with Tiger. No one cares. Tiger don't even care. Tiger never even wanted to get with you. And I know that hurts your feelings. That's why you had to add in there, I'm sure I wasn't missing out on anything. Of, sure, sure, of course not. I bet you if Tiger would have hit you up, you would have responded and you would have wanted to get flued out. I mean, you were pictured tonguing down Lil, uh, Lil Vert. So we know that it is not like you have some sort of standard. Like, come on, man. Just this past week, Tiger announced that he had deleted his OnlyFans account in an effort to launch a competing platform, MyStar. New platform as a young money rapper promises he will only include a 10% fee on creator earnings in comparison to OnlyFans 20% fee and give usability to sell NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain as well as boasting features relevant to music industry. Maybe that's why OnlyFans took a U-turn, but that's a whole nother subject. I'll link it in the description. Listen, man, Brittany Renner, you can do whatever you want to do. You may not feel like you're sorry, but I know that you were crying in the car probably a few times <clears throat> about this whole thing. And uh, you did this to yourself. You brought all of this on yourself. You can try to act like people are wanting your downfall, but you've never been up to be torn down. So...